Hello my friends, welcome back to my 4 star school YouTube channel and in this lesson we will continue talking about the navigation in Flutter in last lesson we have defined a name route in the Flutter navigation however uh, there are two more methods inside this navigator would be very useful when we actually uh, develop uh, a Flutter application so today, in today's lesson, I'm going to talk about another two methods which is push replacement method and push and remove until method in uh, Navigator So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification so you won't miss out the latest Flutter tutorial Okay, without further ado, let's get started Let's back to Visual Studio Code and here you can see I have already connected with my Android emulator with my Visual Studio Code and inside this .dot file and we have declared two page the first page and the second page inside this first page we have a button called first page uh, which will navigate you to the second page right and also we give it a green color as a background color so for the second page, we also have a button inside our second page called second page and also uh, we have uh, uh, we give it a yellow color right and also we define those two net rounds inside our material app and inside this routes attribute and we keep our uh, we rename the first and the second and we will return the first page and the second page okay we will start from this point and here i'm going to uh, define another page i will uh, call it the third page because we're going to uh, test those uh, push replacement method and also this push and remove until method so we probably need our third page so here i just quickly change this name to uh, third page and also I probably change the text in here as well right and also I will change this color uh, probably to red color okay so uh, in here uh, I want when I press the button in our second page we will navigate to the third page so here I just uh, remove this pop method Instead, I will using a push name method like what we did in the first page, right? Here, we pass the context and as well as the uh, route. So we need to probably need to define the route here. Net route here, we we'll probably call it sir and also pass the context and we will return the sir page. All right, and we move down, and we will probably navigate to the third page, right? Okay, let's save, and we now can uh, test our application. So, in the right side here is our first page. So when I click this button, you will navigate to the second page, which which is. Uh, this is uh, a yellow background so I click this one in navigate to the second page and also when I click this button it will navigate us to the third page right so I click that yeah you see this one will be a uh, red background oh I forgot to change the text here so let's save yeah it's third page okay so you see when I click this go back button it actually will go back to the second page right you are back to the second page and I click this uh, back button in the second page you will go back to the, our first page okay you see we have this uh, navigation stuck as you can see here when I press the first page button the second page will be pushed in our stack and also when we click the second page button inside our second page 
our third page will be pushed into our star, right? So when you click the go back button, so each star will be pulled from the from the uh, stack of rows, right? So those we just using those uh, push name or push method. So what is this uh, push replacement method used for? So if you are using this uh, push replacement method, actually you will know push your page by instead you will replacement your page inside this stack. Here I will give you an example. So let's back to Visual Studio Code and find our second page inside this button on press the function and we're going to uh, change this push the name uh, to our push replace the name right because we're using this name round so we will change it to push replacement you see you notice we have a two method with this uh, replacement so if you're using the first one uh, you actually need to uh, pass the page in here right if we use the second method se second one we we can pass our uh net wrong okay let's save and we're going to test it on our app so when i click this first page i will be navigate to the second page right it's a yellow background and i click the second page i will be navigate to the third page right you see, I click this one, I navigate to the third page. However, the differences between these uh, push NAND and push replacement NAND would be when I click this go back button, it actually will go back to our first page because we replace the stack, right? You see in this image, uh, we didn't push to the stack, we actually will replace what inside is stack. So and we will try this go back button it will back to our first page which is the green background so let's see you see it go back to the first page and we can try again so we navigate to the second page and also the third page remember we have talked about this app bar and if you didn't implement this app bar so you can uh, go back to previous route using navigator dot poop dot pop method right so actually it do the same thing as this go back button so I will click this third page button and you actually will back to our first page you see now we back to the first page okay next one I'm going to talk about this push and remove until method so suppose you encounter this scenario and you have probably 10 pages and you use this uh, push the name with each page and how you're going to return back to our first page right you can use this uh, push replaced name uh, but there is another convenient way you can use is this method which is this push and remove until so you can uh, go back to your uh, first page anytime right okay let's back to uh, Visual Studio Code and I will show you an example and here I would like to create our uh, fourth page right so under our third page I create the fourth page copy in here paste in here and also in here so in our third page I also use this navigator of uh, push push name actually I use this push the name to our third page so I'm going to use it here to push to our fourth page and I need to declare this route and pass the context and also return our fourth page right and save so the first page will push then to the second page and also push to our third page and push it to our fourth page right so in here 
uh, I want if I want go back so it actually will go back to the three three page right so how can we go back to these uh, root page which is the first page and we could inside uh, these before we go to the fourth page in in this line we can change it to uh, the method we have a uh, uh, route in here right so we use this pushed and remove until push net and remove until so we pass our fourth page and also the second one would be the model to uh, model row with net would be the first page okay so let's save and we'll test it our our android emulator so you see the first page we click this button will uh, push to our second page right which is this uh, yellow background and also in our second page we will push to third page which is this red background right and also when I push to when I press this button it will push to the fourth page right okay so maybe I need to change the fourth page to uh, purple so you can see clear so I change to purple and also I click this button you will push to the fourth page but also we have defined it is previous page will be this first page right so we will try and we click it it's our fourth page right so when I click this button I pop so it actually will return to our first page so which is the green background so when I click I know we forget to write down something so back to our material app so we need to uh, fill out this initial route attribute so we save and you can run it again by click this restart button and we will test it again so we go to the first page right and we go to the second page and the third page right see here when I click this button it actually will back to our first page which is the uh, green background so I click this one you see we will navigate back to our first page right and also we remove everything inside our uh, stack of the routes right you can also achieve this by using this uh, push replacement right but you can use this push and remove until this method more easily right it will save you a lot of work right okay i think that's all for today's lesson and after you finish those three videos talking about the flutter navigation and i hope you can handle most of the situation uh, if you want to use this uh, navigator in flutter okay so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in next video